I can't read. It's been six years since the events of two and three. An umbrella has gone bankrupt. Oh, I had stock in them. And it seems that the T-virus threat is over. Leon S. Kennedy is working for the US government as a special agent reporting directly to the president. Anyway, the president's daughter, Ashley Graham, has gone missing. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? I bet they had an argument over dinner or something. And she's, I'm running away. It leaves out the front of the White House. I'm not coming back ever again. You'll see. So Leon is sent to a remote village in the middle of Spain Hola. to find her. Upon arriving at the outskirts of the village, Leon is called by his operator, Ingrid Hunnigan. Ingrid provides Leon with the deets and he's on his way. Leon waltzes up to the first house he sees and just barges right in. Inside is a man just minding his own business and Leon flashes the picture of Ashley. You seen this girl? I, 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 I haven't I, seen her in my life. Listen here, stranger, do you know this person? We're just friends. The man becomes agitated and grabs an axe, swinging for Leon's head, as you would when someone barges into your house with a gun. Leon shoots Ow. him point blank as a commotion outside grabs his attention. Leon hears a truck crash into the police car that dropped him off. A bunch of locals swarm the house as Leon calls Ingrid, who tells him to find Ashley, no matter the measure. Kill as many locals as you want. You've got to save this one civilian. Investigating the house, it seems the man is no stranger to murder, as dozens of bodies are piled together. Ah, oh, see, he deserved it. Why, well, that's just Spain. Leon escapes and deals with the locals before finding the bridge out of town has been destroyed. The cop's car has been smashed against the rocks below, and Leon is trapped. Oh, no. Bill, do you ever think about why we're doing a gaming channel? We both have billions of dollars to manage. You would think this is a bit frivolous. What are you insinuating that we're not actually billionaires and this is just some strange persona we've chucked on top of ourselves? Like and subscribe. <laughs> what do you think of my new hair? Leon makes his way to the village. He spies the officer who traveled with him and he is hung up on a meat hook in the center of the town, roasting over a fire. It's that Simpsons joke. He seems to be stewing in his own juices. <laughs> it gives him sexual power. <laughs> Entering the village, Leon starts shooting anything that moves. The villagers swarm on Leon in a frenzied attack. Get colonized. He ducks into the house and the villagers arm themselves with whatever they can to hunt Leon down. Oh my. Just as Leon is about to be overrun by the villagers, the church's bell rings out. The villagers drop everything and move into the church, leaving Leon alone. Where's everyone going? Bingo. Hannigan advises Leon to leave and directs him to the trail. Along the way, Leon discovers documents given to the villagers. It identifies him as a target. <gasps> Wait, actually, explain that bit? So they, they stole Ashley, the president's daughter, and then they're like, someone's going to try and come and get her. But they've been tracking Leon ever since he arrived in Spain. Why are the villagers attacking Leon? Don't they have, like, farm work to do and shit? Moving hay from one spot to another, <laughs> as all villagers do. <laughs> Leon dodges traps and ignores all the ominous signs. And finally, he finds the prisoner's location. It isn't Ashley. It's a man named what? Lewis. My name is Lewis. I play the mandolin. Lewis doesn't seem to share the villagers' seething rage. A little rough, don't you think? As Leon unties Lewis, a hulking bear of a man enters. Chief Mendez. Oh, I am Chief Mendez. I have the same voice as Luis. That's because they're both Spanish. It's an accent. Leon does what he does best and takes a swing at Mendez, who just tosses him away like a sack of potatoes. Leon just blacks out, because of course he does. So Leon wakes up and there's a strange robed man spouting about sharing his powers with Leon. The needle injects Leon and it's got an egg in it. A fucking ostrich egg. And he awakes with a startle. The robed man is gone. Trapped together, Leon and Lewis have a moment to talk. Leon shows Ashley's picture. Hey, have you seen this girl? I never forget a beautiful woman. <laughs> okay, but have you seen her? I never forget her face. Ah, young senorita. Wait, hold on. How old is Ashley in this? I don't know, like 16? I've never seen her before. <laughs> Luis states that he overheard the villagers have Ashley at a church somewhere. I overheard them. Leon and Luis spawned over the fact they were once both cops. Now I'm just a good for nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies man. Luis explains he may have seen a sample of the T-virus at a lab back at his old department. The T-virus? What the fuck? Then suddenly the man that Leon killed at the beginning of the game bursts in with a war axe and he takes a swing. The pair dodge out of the way and the axe severs their restraints. He was oh. just helping them. Oh, that's some bullshit. Then Leon kills the man and Luis runs off. El smello yo latos. <laughs> so Leon's heading back to the village and along the way he runs into this mysterious traveling merchant. 
What are you buying? The merchant is willing to upgrade Leon's equipment and has something that might interest you. Navigating through the canyon, Leon finds Chief Mendez's house. Mendez is working under someone called Lord Sadler, who wants Leon alive for some reason. Anyway, then Mendez appears and he... Hello, I am Mendez. But notices Leon is infected. You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Mendez warns Leon that even though they are of the same blood... Wait, what do you mean we're of the same blood? Because he got injected with the ostrich egg. Even though we've both had eggs for breakfast, <laughs> you should stop meddling. Hannigan calls up for a chat and informs Leon that the villagers are part of a cult. Well, no shit. And then the cult is called... Los Illuminados, the Enlightened Ones. Not learning his lesson the first time, Leon goes after Mendez, only to get his ass handed to him again. Oh, you know what? Get back on that horse, that's what I always say. Look, if you ever want secrets to becoming a billionaire, number one, live. <laughs> number two, laugh. Number three, I forget the third one, doesn't matter. <laughs> laugh again. Why not? As Leon struggles, Mendez is shot in the back by a mysterious woman in a red dress. The woman grapples out of the way as Mendez charged out the window after her. Searching for the church, Leon learns that Lewis stole something extremely valuable from Mendez. So then he goes to the church, but it turns out it's locked. But there is a key, but it's on the other side of the lake. Of course it is. Who locks a church with a key? I thought someone's just always supposed to live in the church. I don't know. Imagine being on like a secret case, mm. and then someone goes, well, the building's locked, and instead of just going... Uh, with the elbow into the window. Aren't churches like 70% window anyway? Yeah. Leon sucks at his job. As Leon's walking to the lake, mm. he spies a pair that are out in a boat. It's a nice pair. A pair of men, a pair of dudes. They're dumping the, the body of the second officer that Leon traveled with. The water churns as a monstrous salamander named Del Lago gulps down the officer. What does Del Lago mean in Spanish? It means your wife's not coming back, Bill. So Leon goes to cross the lake and Del Lago attacks. Leon manages to take down that big bad monster and makes his way to the other side. Coughing up blood, <sighs> Leon collapses over in pain. Leon has a nightmare about the parasite taking over his body before jolting awake six hours later. If I was one of the villagers, mm. I would probably just stumble across his body sometime in the next six hours and then I'd go, Oh. With, a, with a pitchfork. Yeah, yeah it's done. done. So Leon snags the key and he then heads back to the church, but he is ambushed in an arena. The villagers lead out an uncontrollable giant monster called El Jigen. El Big. <laughs> Leon battles the big monster and destroys the parasite controlling it. Back at the church, Leon uses the key to enter. Inside the secret room, Leon finds Ashley. I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. So then Leon calls Helligan, ring ring, for an extraction chopper. And she directs him to the landing zone just outside of the village. But as they leave the church, they are met by Osmond Sadler. He's the leader of the Los Illuminados cult. The master of this fine religious community. Sadler reveals that Ashley, like Leon, has been injected with the parasite. He wants Ashley to return to her father to infect him with the parasite as well. Then why are they trying to kill them? Why not just let them go? He also reveals that it's only a matter of time before the parasite takes over and Leon and Ashley become his puppets. The pair smash through the window to escape. Why couldn't they do that to get in? I don't, anyway. It's a good fucking point. So even though Sadler wants Leon and Ashley to survive and get back to America, the villagers rush to apprehend them to, and Leon and Ashley fight to escape. The pair discover that the villagers are also hunting Lewis. Lewis was somehow able to remove the parasite before it took over him. Hunnigan calls up to inform Leon that he should sit tight as the first helicopter has been shot down. But don't worry, there's a second one. And this time, we've rocket proofed it. So Leon and Ashley are escaping and they get pinned down by two mobs of villagers. So they decide, hey, let's jump in this abandoned house and uh, hole up for a while. The pair barricade the door and they find Lewis inside just chilling. Lewis and Leon hold back the mob and eventually it dissipates. They realize right. they have more important things to do. We've got to move some more hay. So Lewis just decides to peace out and he runs off again. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Leon and Ashley dodge past a bunch of ambushes, a bunch more traps, and then they come face to face with Chief Mendes. And burning him up, they find his true monstrous form. <gasps> Hasta luego. He's a big parasite looking crab thing. Leon battles Mendez and takes him down, obtaining his fake eye, which acts as a key. As a last ditch effort, the villagers mob Leon and Ashley, and the pair dash for a nearby car. Oh my god, all they do is leave and go to another location. <laughs> so they go into the castle and then they raise the bridge and it blocks the villagers. But the castle is swarming with Los Illuminados members, and then the cult attacks Leon and Ashley. Leon reaches out to Hunnigan for guidance, but the signal is lost. 
Oh, no bars. Great. Just my luck. So they stumble into Lewis, who says he has a cure for their parasite. Okay, immediately tell us what it is. Number one thing, in case you die, or we get lost, whatever. And he realizes he dropped it. Oh, shit. So you just dropped it, right? Are you oh. going to tell me what it is? Nah. You know what? It's a great surprise. You'll love it. Stay right here. Don't move a single muscle. I'll be right back. Never returns. So then Leon comes face to face with the owner of the castle, Ramon Salazar. And Ramon gives Leon one last chance to hand over Ashley. But Leon refuse. you can't have her. No thanks, bro. Through the castle, Ashley starts coughing up blood. <gasps> oh no, she's becoming a woman. She freaks out and dashes off, but is caught in a trap and separated from Leon. So Leon runs around the castle and explores. He finds some files by Lewis researching the parasites Los Plagos. Los Plagos has the ability to take over people's bodies and minds, sending them into an unstoppable fury and deforming them. It's like Speed, the movie. Another book details the Salazar family and its mm -hmm. ties to Los Illuminados. So, the Salazar family have always objected to the Los Illuminados and their crazy plans. And so, right. they sealed the Las Plagos parasite beneath the castle. However, when Ramon Salazar became the lord of the castle, he agreed to work with Los Illuminados and gave them access to the parasite. The reason for this is Salazar shares Los Illuminados' views for cleansing the world using the Las Plagos parasite. Oh my god, so he's gonna do like a Spanish flu too? Yeah. Why does he want to cleanse the world? Uh, because he's really short. Ah. Uh -huh. After navigating the sewers and the halls and the hedge mazes of the castle, Leon wanders into being held up at gunpoint. Yeah. It's a mysterious woman in a red dress who saved Leon before. Ooh. But following a lady's lead just isn't my style. The two fight, and Leon realizes, oh my god, I wasn't Ada right to be fighting this lady, because she is Ada Wong. She's the umbrella spy he believed to be dead after Resident Evil 2. Leon questions Ada if she had been working with Wesker. The bad guy from Resident Evil 1. See how it all ties together? Have you been working with Wesker? Yes. Ada admits to their partnership before dropping a flashbang and fleeing. So after being flashbanged and blinded... Flashbanged sounds like when there's a flash mob, but... <laughs> Melinda, no! Get out of there! <laughs> Get out of the street! They're choreographed! Lewis drops in on Leon again. This time, he has an important sample of Los Plagos for Leon to take. Suddenly, just like a flashbang, a tentacle pierces Lewis from behind and he drops the sample. Sadler stands behind him and he catches the sample, tossing the dying Lewis aside. I don't need this. Leon rushes to save Lewis, who gives Leon a suppressant for the parasite. Here. This won't save you, but it'll stop it from getting worse for a bit. Can you tell me something about this fucking parasite? It's the mystery, dude. As he dies, he admits to being a researcher for Sadler, and that Leon must get back the sample Sadler just stole. Do this for me. Leon finds Ashley and he frees her. Thank you, Leon. No problem. The pair traverse the castle, solving its many puzzles and death traps. Just as the pair seem to be home free, an insect-human hybrid called the Novitador. And then she he swoops it and it snatches Ashley. Damn it! Ashley! Leon cashes up to Ashley, who's being held by Salazar. And then he falls into a trap. Good uh, job, Leon. No. Uh. Leon saves himself through quick thinking as Salazar runs off with Ashley. Elsewhere, Sadler is unimpressed with Salazar's attempt to kill Leon. Sadler sends in Jack Cruiser. We need more characters, please. An old teammate of Leon's who used to work as a special agent. You know, I like this because they introduce this dude, but they don't actually tell you anything about him until about six years later when they release a sequel game. Let's head down beneath the castle. Why not? Leon traverses its catacombs and its mines. He fights off hordes of enemies, all infected with a reawakened Las Plagos parasite. After some minecart riding, he escapes the catacombs and heads back up into the castle. Inside, he's greeted by an enormous statue of Ramon Salazar, which chases him. The statue does? Yeah, it's a big robot, but it's made of stone. Oh my god. It's like a golem. Leon outruns the big stone robot and finds the real Salazar, who says that soon Ashley will complete the ritual, which will grant her immense power. So Leon lobs a knife through Salazar's hand, which kind of pisses him off, and Salazar runs away. Leon gives chase, dodging barrels as he ascends the tower. It's like Donkey Kong. Inside the ritual chamber is Salazar and his bodyguard and an enormous queen plaga, which is attached to the wall. 
Ah, damn, it seems like Leon is too late, as the ritual has been completed, and Salazar's men have already taken Ashley to another island. She left with my men to an island. Salazar has had enough of Leon. He decides to take care of him personally. I'm going to bite your ankles. Merging with the enormous Queen Plaga and his own bodyguard, Salazar morphs into an enormous monster. Why would anyone agree to merge with power? <laughs> You'd merge with your computers if you could. You know you would. You already have, haven't you? Leon dukes it out with the three monsters. Take this, it's a rocket launcher. And he kills them all easily. Down in the docks, Leon finds a boat, captained by Ada, aye aye soldier. Ada offers to drive Leon and he takes her up on Need it. Need a ride, handsome? The pair head to the island, which seems to be- Ada a Wong? Yeah, that's the Wong. The island seems to be an old military base in which the Los Illuminados were creating new bioweapons. Ada grapples away as they arrive, and Leon is left to hunt for Ashley on his own. Women. God, I want a grapple hook so badly. Further into the base, Leon radios the helicopter that Hunnigan sent out, telling him of his new location. He also manages to find Ashley again, and together they work to escape. Teamwork makes the dream work. Right, there's uh, suddenly a letter that Ada wrote, and it details an escape route through a trash chute the pair stumble upon Sadler, not Adam, who paralyzes Leon immediately using a dominant plaguer he controls. The dominant plaguer is able to control all of the other plaguers, and he stops Leon in his tracks. Uh. Sadler also uses his dominant plaguer to control Ashley and leads her away. And then as they escape, Leon throws a tracking device on Ashley. Why ha -ha. Did he do that before? He said yeah. this the whole time. Why not just lob it on her when she like runs away the first time? Meanwhile, Ada and Krauser meet and talk about about keeping tabs on Leon. It's revealed that Krauser is also working for Whisker secretly, <laughs> and he doesn't trust Ada. But Ada shrugs it off and reminds him that she's known Whisker for much longer. You don't know Whisker. We were best friends in third grade. So, Leon keeps going further into the base, where he's jumped by Jack Krauser. Hello. Oh my god. Remember me? No. Krauser revealed he faked his own death two years ago, and he was the one that kidnapped Ashley from the USA. Krauser kidnapped her to gain the trust of Sadler and to gain access to the special sample Plaga. He also reveals that all of this is to help Umbrella. All oh, for Umbrella's sake. No, but they've gone bankrupt. Their stock price is in the toilet. I would say right now is the best time to invest in Umbrella. Buy Umbrella coin. The pair duke it out and Krauser overpowers Leon. So Jack's holding a blade and suddenly Ada shoots the blade out of his hand. Uh, Ada then, having done her small cameo, flees again. Leon makes his way through an extremely complicated laser grid and finds a moment of respite in Sadler's throne room. It's such an unnecessary thing. He's like doing all these whack flips and like this laser a room and then suddenly he just sits down on the throne. The break is short-lived, however, as a fusion of insect-human-lizard thing attacks Leon and, and Leon has to fight it off. Back outside, Leon runs into Krauser again, but shirtless this time. It's time for a flashbang. Krauser intends to hand Leon and Ada over to Wesker, dead. Exposition time. So Krauser faked his own death on a mission with Leon when they are in South America after he lost the use of his arm. Wesker repaired his arm and he earned Krauser's loyalty. I'll do anything for you. Under Sadler, Krauser gained access to a small amount of the dominant Plaga and can transform his arm into a big blade. After a close fight, Leon is able to kill the Plaga within Krauser. Finally, after defeating Krauser, Leon is cornered by Sadler's men. Just as all hope seems lost, the rescue chopper appears. Does someone just ring a bell and all the villagers walk off? That'd be nice. But no, this time it's a helicopter. He's a pilot by a dude named Mike. I fucking love Mike. What? I hope nothing bad ever happens to Mike. I love him. The, anyway, the helicopter shows up and it lays waste to the henchman and saves Leon. Thank you, helicopter. Then suddenly Sadler fires a rocket into the rescue helicopter and takes Mike down. No, Mike. And also with it, Leon's hope of escape. He was three days from retirement. <laughs> and it was his first day on the job. <laughs> and it was his daughter's wedding the next day. His one payment off the lease of this helicopter. Leon stumbles into Ada again, but the the parasite is starting to affect him and he chokes Ada. She doesn't like it very much. She knocks him back and says, you better come to your senses and tell me how to deal with this parasite before it gets any worse. The pair are able to find Ashley and Sadler. While Ada holds off Sadler, Leon escapes with Ashley. Ashley and Leon find a lab and a note left by Lewis <gasps> detailing how to remove the parasite. Here it is, the big 
Secret. Why didn't you just tell me? Why'd you write out a note? The procedure is painful and risky, but both managed to... But what is the procedure? They get electrocuted. Really? Yeah. That's not so bad. Mm. It's easier than developing a vaccine. Come here. A little bit closer. Mm. Look, technically, that was the first thing we tried. At first, we tried just cranking up the energy <laughs> on your Wi-Fi router and <laughs> didn't do nothing. Now free from the parasite, the two look for an escape. And then Leah finds Ada strung up and unconscious with Sadler nearby. Sadler tries to control Leon, but it doesn't work. Haha, -ha, I'm free of the virus or I whatever. I have no more egg inside me. I'm yolk free. And then he frees Ada with nothing to lose. Adam Sandler transforms into his true monstrous self. Leon fends off the monster atop the military base, and Ada throws him a trusty rocket launcher, just like in the end of number two. Where were you? Keeping that. <laughs> That's a good point. I'll never tell. Leon destroys Sadler and the dominant plague. Don't be Sadler, be Hapler. All that's left is the sample Sadler stole from Lewis. And as Leon picks it up, Ada presses a gun to his head. Uh. Ada steals the sample and runs off the edge of the platform. She dives into a helicopter that's waiting and she flies off into the sunset. Bye. As she's flying away, she sets off the island's self-destruct protocol as Right. You do, you know, she just has right. it, happens to have it on her. Leon and Ashley, running around, they manage to find a jet ski underneath the base, and they escape just as the island blows up in the background. Is this yeah. one of the farmer villagers' <laughs> jet skis? <laughs> as they're leaving the island and skiing off into the sunset, Ashley offers Leon... How about we do some, um, overtime? Isn't she, like, 16? Leon politely declines. Right. <laughs> and the true drive off into the sunset, awkwardly sitting in silence as... Ashley's approaches has been rebuked. Although, President's son-in-law, not a bad deal. I would say that there's three things I learned from this game. Yep. Number one, live. Number two, laugh. Number three, 